This is a problem out of 5.1. It's, it's actually the first problem. And it says, use the rules for the sums of powers of integers to compute the sum. So we're trying to find the sum starting at 6 all the way to 25. So again, just to get a visual of what's happening here, y'all. I'm going to take 6 plus 7 plus 8. I'm going to go all the way until I get to 25, okay? So what's one way I could do it? Take your calculator and add those numbers up, right? Definitely one way you can go about it. Now, the other thing we can do is we can use some of the formulas that we have. So, y'all, we have a formula for the sum of integers. The only thing is, is that when we start, this formula, y'all, starts when we're starting off at 1, going to a particular value, right? And here, we're not starting at 1. We're starting at 6, okay? But I want you to think about this. If I was starting at 1, okay, let me fix this a little bit. Okay, so if we were, okay, all right, let's do it this way. If we were starting from 1 all the way to 25, okay, of, what are we adding up here? We're adding, we're using K, so I'll use a K, of the number K, okay. This here, y'all, would really be the same thing as if I started at 1 and I went up to, say, 5, and then I started up at 6, and I went all the way to 25, okay? So I want you to think about what we did here. We're saying, look, if we're going to add up the numbers from 1 to 25, couldn't we add up the numbers from 1 to 5 and then start up again from 6 and go to 25? We're just kind of breaking them up, right? Since we're trying to find this piece right here, we can actually solve each of these individual pieces simply by using this formula right here, okay? So look, when we're starting from 1 to 25, this is what we're going to use, y'all. So I'm going to put, I'm going to use this formula here, okay? I'm going to use this formula here, but where I have an N, I'm going to use the number 25. So I'm going to say, look, this is 25. 25 plus 1 would be 26, all over 2. And that's going to be equal to, I'm going to do the same thing here, but again, I'm now going to come back. I'm going to plug in 5. So this is going to be 5. 5 plus 1 more is 6 divided by 2. And that's going to give me the sum starting from 6 to 25 of my K, right? I'll use a K right here because that's what we're supposed to be using. Okay, so on the next line, y'all, I'm going to figure out what that's equal to. So 25 times 26 over 2. Let's see if we can do that. 25 times 26 divided by 2, 325, okay? So we're going to have a 325 equals, okay? Let's do the same thing here. I don't need my calculator for this. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Plus that sum starting from K equals 6 to 25 of K. Now I'm just going to subtract 15 on both sides, y'all. So this should give me... A 310 is going to give me the sum starting from 6 to 25 of my value k, right? So again, this is one way I can do it. The other way, start adding them up, okay? And in either case, you should still end up with 310, okay? If you got any questions, let me know.